produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Crafting with La Blanche. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand, whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint. And that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Good morning, everyone, and a warm welcome to the Craft Store. We are kicking off the live show in style with the wonderful Trisha, and so totally. Trisha, hello. Hello, good morning. Trisha, I always love working with you. I know, it's been a long yeah. time, though. It has, though. I'm looking yes. forward to this. You brought some beautiful kits. I was saying, I was on yesterday with Rachel and Bees yeah. by um, Fershelle, Fershelle. Yeah. and she had one of your bag kits. She does. Yeah. She is absolutely lovely, and 
I think every show she has one of my bags because yeah. she loves making them oh. and puts one of the beaded brooches or uh, charms on there and they are beautiful. It works so well together. Yes, yeah, yes. really nice way for them to put the two together. Uh, speaking of bags, we've got some awesome <sighs> options today. Uh, so, a <laughs> lot going on. We're going to start our journey here where we're going to have a little bit of a wonder, a wonder pack. Um, these are really handy. Yes. Really handy. Yes. It's, it's the very next letter, which has been a long time coming, yeah. letter W in my alphabet bags. I've yeah. gone right from A, and we're now on W. I have That's done incredible. It. Yes. There will be a book at some point. <laughs> it's in my mind. Yeah. That's, I mean, to think that you've gone from A to W. Mm -hmm. With a few more in between, with no names. Wow. Mm. I'm very, Im I'm very impressed. <laughs> uh, tell us about what, why do you want to bring these bags? Because they're ver functional, very, very functional. Yes, yeah. Um, customer request, basically. Um, oh, can you do a backpack? So that's yeah. why it's been a long time in the coming because I've been thinking about it and I wanted to make it just like my other bag kits in that they're easy to make. Yeah. And so it's um, available. It's there for anybody from a beginner. Um, right through to more experience, who can put more into this. So inside, I haven't put any extra pockets, but yeah. those that love doing internal zip pockets or patch pockets can, can do, do that. that. Yeah. And those that are new to sewing or have just come back to it, they will be able to achieve this. So it's as simple or as complicated as you want mm. it to be. Mm. We get everything that we need to make this bag Absolutely in the kit? Absolutely everything. And so the, cut the to findings size. in yes. here or the hardware, I should yes. say? Yes. Brilliant. You do indeed. I'm thinking now, looking ahead, the nautical so good as a um, if you're just popping to the beach for the yes, day. Yeah, yeah. Just getting wet. Can you? How cute would that be? Heading to the beach for the day, wearing that. Wouldn't it be great? I tell you, if you are a fan of the craft store, spotting this, because yeah. then you know that's a, someone who obviously yes, not a fan of the craft yes, store, yes. A fan of yours, Trisha. Yeah. So uh, twenty nine ninety nine. That is your nautical. But if that's not your thing, we've got. Oh, yes. I love this, the cats. <laughs> I, I, genuinely, I really like both. Uh, the cats, uh, it's bright, it's funky, it's fun um, and quirky. It's a little yes. bit different. Yes, I think so. I love bright colours. I love subtle colours as well. But this yes. just said to me, yes, you can be a backpack. Things yeah. that stand out yeah. to me about the bags, uh, the size, I think they're really good size. I love the detailing. So you've got the faux leather mm -hmm. uh, there. You've also got these beautiful fabrics, whether it is the uh, nautical or the cats. Charlotte, our producer, our lovely producer, she was saying this kind of stuff she would wear is the perfect size for her. Yes. She kind yeah. of likes this, this small... This, it's like a handbag, but you're effectively wearing it as a That's right, that's right. My husband said to me, well, it's not very big, is it? But it's not a backpack that yeah. you would go... It's not, a school, it's not like a school bag or a backpack. No. You're not trekking with this. No, it's just an right. everyday bag where you that's can right. get your purse in there. Yes. Uh, you could get a little bottle of water in there as well if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. I think you can get a fair bit actually in there. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing about it is with the, the straps, you can use it as a backpack, Yeah. Um, but it's got the extendable, um, it's got a nice easy way actually of putting it all together. Oh. So you've got the uh, slider so that you yeah. can extend that. You can just pop it over your shoulder as well with double, okay. Over the one shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've also got the handle if you just want to hold it by the handle on the top. Maybe uh, on public transport, hold mm -hmm. the handle. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like this. And then you, and then obviously you've got the uh, the um, backpack as well option That's too. That's right. Yes. yes. I like this. Yes. I really do like it. Um, look. You're getting everything that you need. So Trisha has thought of everything. We're already busy, and I'm so pleased because, uh, do you know what? These we were selling even before we went live. So it shows how busy they oh, are. Oh goodness. You put so much thought into everything you bring. You really do, and you bring us stuff that. It looks, it's got the feel of shop bought, mm. but then it's also got the, the originality of something you get from a small boutique. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what yes, you want. You yes. don't want something that feels mass produced that you've bought that no. everyone has. It's got that personal touch to it. It has. And nobody else will have exactly and identically yeah. this because it is only available here or by me, should I have any more fabric, but it's all here for you. Well, I've got to tell you, uh, what favourite is taking... Oh, I wonder, is it the cats? Okay. A quarter of the stock of the cats. Now, I really do like the cats. I like the cats a lot, and I'm a massive cat lover. Oh, by the way, I love how you quilted that, too. Yes, That's yeah. Nice. Just uh, so I've quilted that one because that fabric is a, a cotton, 100% yeah. cotton, as I usually use. And the other one is a lightweight canvas, so uh -huh. a half Panama. Yeah. 
Um, you can quilt that if you want to, but I just thought with the stripes there, no, I won't. So mm -hmm. the choice is yours. Yeah, well, Nautical's not far behind. It's 20%. Mm. I, and I never sit on the fence here, Tricia. I genuinely love the cats. But if I had to choose a favourite, I'll go Nautical only because... The weather is starting to get a bit yes, better, yes. and I really can see that. Going to, if you're going for a day on the beach, what a practical bag to have. So you can just get everything you need, your sunglasses in there, your mobile phone, um, bottle of water, sun cream, mm -hmm. you know, everything you need in there, but it looks cute too. That would be mm -hmm. a lovely bag. $29.99 is your price there. 927-673, your item number. We have another option. Now, this is <laughs> my little uh, wonder bag. Yes. So what, yes. what's the story behind this one? Um, well, apart from being asked to do um, an adult a backpack, yeah. they wanted a child's version. So this I've done it so a little cute. bit smaller. Um, and it is washable because, yeah. you know, we think children, white, but mm -hmm. does it matter? It's colourful. Um, but it will go in the washing machine and wash very well. It's so, uh, lovely. Yes. And, and it's kind of, I mean, perfect, you've got to think, for, for a little one or for Paola. I mean, it's a really yes. nice <laughs> sized bag uh, in those Paola in yet, you know. <laughs> I'm teasing Paola. Um, but no, I love, I really like the fabric too. So very cute little bag. I, th I think this is nice. Even if, I know it's, it's obviously for, for little ones, but I know um, friends who like yes. just smaller bags, yes. you know, adults yeah. who like smaller bags, that would be fantastic yeah, too. Yeah, there's still plenty of room in there, yeah. and I can see an adult using that as well. Mm. So tell me, what are we getting in our kit here, Trisha? You are getting everything within the kit there as well. So you get all the outer fabric, um, you get the wadding that's in there, because as I say, I've quilted it, they've all got the wadding in. Um, it's got all your bag hardware, mm -hmm. all the other pieces are cut to size. It's purely the main shape because it's curved yeah. at the top. You will have a template in the instruction pack. So Ooh, you do get full perfect. instructions. Yeah. Um, not that they're there because I only did them last night. Okay. Bad is that. Well, um, that's all right because you, if you just want to go for the instructions, yeah, that we yeah. have, as always, with any of Trisha's patterns, you can just get the pattern, $9.99. Ah, I mean, for an extra $9.99, look at what you're getting. And, and it's... The sourcing it too, because you're not going to be able to buy fabric, you know, little bits like this. No, so, um, no. so you've effectively cut that all up for us. Yes. So we've got our sizes. You've got your hardware in there as well. There's wadding. There's everything yeah. that we need. Well, you know, looking at it, the bag hardware may cost you three to four pounds. Easily, yeah. Um, the zip is a long zip, okay, and so it's a size one, five, so it's that little bit chunkier. One pound fifty-two pounds. Yeah. All of that. Yeah. All of that. So. Yes, I'm mad, aren't I? Well, you, you're good <laughs> value. You may... I, I, uh, yeah. It's you, quality, but I, yeah. the thing with Trisha, and Trisha is lovely, and what you see is what you get, but exactly. you're a crafter. You I watch am. the craft store, you enjoy it. Yes. It was funny because Trisha was saying, I've been watching the last few days, you've been on a lot, I didn't think you'd be in today. And I was like, oh, man. But you do, you genuinely, you are a crafter, <laughs> you love watching. I do. And I think you always approach this from a, craft, from a crafter's perspective. Yeah, and a customer's yeah. point of view as well. Um, because I do listen... I listen to their likes and dislikes oh, that's good. and think, um, yeah. right, I'm, I won't do that. Not that some of the dislikes I would do mm -hmm. anyway, but yeah. um, I do think about all of it as a, and I think about all the ladies, all my ladies that sew mm -hmm. and how they would like to do it. And a lot of people haven't got all that amount of time yeah. to, you know, hand sew things. It's lovely hand sewing, I must mm -hmm. admit, but if you haven't got the time, you like projects that are fairly quick. Yeah. Um, and most of mine, you can sit down and do them within a couple of hours. Say the yeah. second one. The yeah. first one, you'll probably take a bit longer because it's new to yeah. you. The second one, you could practically half the time. Um, yeah. But also, I like to use quality fabrics because yeah. everybody knows. Um, and those people that haven't used quality yeah. are now converted because it's the feel of it as you're sewing right. with it. It's You're looking at it and you're loving it. You're, it just fills you with... I love your enthusiasm. Now, Tricia... If mm. I was to tell you, we're, we're only nine minutes into the show. Right. Let's say ten minutes, right? We'll round it up. Would you be impressed if I told you 10% of the stock's already gone? <sighs> would that be good? I, thought, I would well, be impressed. hold back, because it's not 10%. I'm sorry. Oh, right. Would you be impressed if I said 20? Yeah, I would. Yeah? 20 get a bit better? All right. A little bit higher? Oh, please. Not, not too much. Not oh, too much. <laughs> 
<laughs> in the time it took me to do that, and I feel I've gone on a little bit. We were at 40%, we're now half, so I feel I've, oh, I've over-egged the pudding. Um, oh, we're half the stock. We're gonna, at some point, Tricia, we're going to have to chat to you. So I might have to do a little bit of filling, because we need to see if we can get more stock. Really busy for this option. Also immensely busy for our other uh, Wonder Bags as well. Just remember you got these two. And I just want to point out with these two, it's the exact same principle as the My Little Wonder Bag. Look at what you are getting, and it's something, I'm sorry, I should have uh, shown this to you because we were sort of introducing you to the product. But look at the amount you are getting in one bag that you're seeing here. So all this fabric coming through, already pre-cut for you. The wadding that you're getting in there as well. The faux leather, look at all of that pre-cut in the mix. You've also got here, I would imagine that's the binding. Oh no, it's not, that's not the binding, that's the strap. There we go. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. There's a strap, and then you've got all the hardware, the zip, so you've got your long zip, all of that for one bag. There we go, I'm just gonna pop that down. That was my attempt at filling there, Trish. <laughs> Passed it, uh, maybe? You did pass, yeah. Uh, could've done Excellent. better. Excellent. Uh, so, all right, now we're gonna move on to another bag. I'm, correct me if I'm wrong here, you had these on before and they sold out, right? That's right. Yeah, I remember. Plus some extended as well. Yeah. Okay. So I thought, I did manage, I'd, I'd run out of fabric, but I yeah. did manage to get a little bit more yeah. of the two that I had um, on at the previous show. Fantastic. It's such a nice bag. So just giving the details, this is your Constantina cross bag. You've got options. We're looking at the navy at the moment. Once again, as always with Tricia, everything you need in the kit, or you can go for the instructions just by themselves. But uh, it's another one where for $9.99, you've got to consider the kit. Look, so you're getting everything that you need in there. And it's sourcing it because you wouldn't get just that little bit of fabric. You'd have to buy what? Fat quarter, half meter, and then get the other one as well. Then get your findings, then get your, is that stabilizer in there? Uh, yes, you, you have got some interfacing, some medium weight interfacing, and you've also got some Decaville light. Oh, okay. So within these kits, I also like to introduce oh. different products to people to get used to what you would use, what sort of interfacing stabilizers you would use for different projects. Nice. I'm going to... I'm making this longer. I'm going to see if I can get it around me. I'm, I'm yeah, making it... I might be making it short. Oh, I've made it you short. <laughs> okay. It's made to go across your body, but that's very handy. You know, just to have... Obviously, you put it across your body. Uh, I shortened it. That's why I haven't done mine. But really nice size. So in yes, there, yes. mobile phone, purse right, or credit yes. cards. Larger items. Um, at the bottom, on, on my samples, they're not actually secured to the bottom. So the concertina is separate there's a little hole there but yeah. if you want to hand sew it if you are thinking of putting sort of loose change or small items yeah. very nice i like it <laughs> and the other thing i would say now you are tall Yanis. i'm trying to breathe in yeah. <laughs> um i did sell rather a lot of them but i had, did have one lady to say very nicely yeah. um i am a tall lady right. and the strap would wouldn't go you know properly across right. so what i would say and i did say to her if you are having a, you know, a problem with mm -hmm. you know, your height, well, it's not a problem, is it? No. I would like to be taller myself. <laughs> but if you would like, um, always contact me, and I'll see if I have some fabric left, I can always provide um, an extra Lovely, bit Trisha. Yeah. And this is the, you're so lovely. This is the difference between having someone, it's, it's your business, as opposed to a massive yes, sort of yes, conglomerate yes, where yes. You, you're speaking to someone in the call centre and you can't, it's that personal touch. Yeah. That's I really don't nice know how say. tall everybody is, do yeah. I? This is the thing. So, uh, but I mean, I have to say, I'm six foot one and I've just put that strap around me and it fit. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, but yeah. any taller, yeah. you're obviously you can accommodate. Uh, 341, 411, your item number if you want to go for navy. I love that beautiful splash of colour. Then we have our orange. I'm just going to show you the actual bag, because the Constantina mm. bag, if I do, oops, sorry. But I just don't know why I did like that. You can see that it's, a, it's really functional. You've got so many pockets. So, mobile yeah. phone, your purse in there, your sunglasses, maybe. Yes, yes. Great yeah. bag. It's really, or. This is a good shout from Chris, our director. Travel. So for your yes. passport, if you wanted. Yes, that would fit. Yes. I mean, that what, would be perfect. What I will say about the bag, you saw there, you, you have got a, a snap fastener there. Yeah. Um, a cam snap. Um, now, in energy. your kit, there will be a, um, a press stud. Because, again, somebody commented um, with this. I put them um, a cam snap because it was simple, easy to do. If I put a cam snap in the kit, 
not everybody will have the particular tool to set to, them. Yeah. So I put press studs in, but the choice is yours. Perfect. If you want to use a uh, hook and loop fastener to um, yeah. do that, you can. If you want to put a magnetic clasp, you could do that. But I've put a closure for you to use um, and complete your... You've thought of that. everything. So that's your navy, that's your orange, and then we have, I think, my favourite. Uh, this is brand new. Love this. Yeah. Uh, this is your hearts, purple hearts, going like through. purple. I just I love it. Yeah. It's so bright. It's fun. You can see a lot of people uh, wearing it and enjoying it. So that's your little splash of colour. The actual bag as itself fits so nicely. It sits across your body really yeah. nicely. It's secure as well because being a cross body, so you've got it across your body. It's sitting here. So if you are out, you can sort of you know, yes. you know anyone trying yeah. to dip in. Yeah. You've got the closure there as well. And just opening that up, you can see how practical that is. So all of those pockets, I'm just going to take that out for a second. So would that work for you? How are you going to be using it? Mobile phone, I'd be putting maybe in the front, purse there, and then sunglasses, whatever you want in the third pocket. It's a great, it's a really mm. well-designed bag, Tricia. Yeah, well, it, it's yet another technique. I haven't brought one with a concertina effect at the side. Um, and there's lots of different ways, there's always different ways of doing things, but I wanted to find something straightforward and uh, fairly simple, um, and that's what I've done. And the fact that it does expand as well, so mm. look, if you don't want to overfill it, it sits there, but yes. it has got that ability to expand. Yes. And a good, the team are coming up with uh, good ideas there, uh, you can put in your, uh, in your bag. Chris, our director, flask if you mm. wanted. There. Oh, good. Uh, 19 99 is your price there, 341 uh, 411 your item number. Now, we have got an update on My Little Wonder Bag. You're kidding. My Little Wonder Bag's gone. Sold uh, just out. like that. Oh. What? Now, this is why we had to have a chat with uh, Tricia, and she's very generously been giving us a little more stock, so it's back on extended delivery. It's going to be dispatched on the 23rd of April. But, be warned, if that sells out, I don't yeah. know if there's yeah. any more generosity in Tricia. No? I'm afraid there isn't. Okay. No. Well, you look, you, you're mm. limited by the fabric that you have. I am, that's right. So uh, it's not... And it's th not th these days, one needs to pre-order all the fabrics yeah. because of, circle, you know, how things course, are. Yeah. Um, so I pre-order so much and then actually it's gone. Fair enough. If it sells out again and there's a good chance it could sell out again, that is it. Just saying. Right, we're going to move on to something a little bit different. We've seen the bags, they're all great. I have to say, the Wonder Bags, the My Little Wonder Bag, the Constantina Bags, I love them all. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got our Mini Runners. These are beautiful and inspired by, I'm kind of getting a very Japanese fabric feel yes, to this. Yes, that's right. It's, um, it's a Makawa fabric, Michiko. Oh. Um, only just, I should think I've had the fabric a week or so. Um, absolutely beautiful. Stunning. And, uh, what I thought here, for the next product that we have on, mm -hmm. the Frinchy Tool, yeah. um, and Frinches, as that's what I'm known for to a degree yeah. now. Um, you are Mrs. This, Frinchy. I am Mrs. Frinchy. The, the name that nobody else has. Yeah. I've got to copyright it. I really must. You, no, you really must. I really must, yes. Have you not done this yet? No. That, tomorrow, you need to start. That's your job for tomorrow. I do. Start I doing do. that. Yeah, I, I really do. would. Yes, I will. Mm. Um, but this particular kit um, is based on fringes. Mm. So, in actual fact, there are two um, options, the blue and the coral, uh -huh. but from one pack of fringes, and you do get a pack in the kit, you can actually make two. So you would have to provide your own backing and wadding that's in it as well. Okay. But that's okay. Um, you will have enough left over to make another one. So. Whichever option we go for, mm -hmm. I know we have to backing and wadding, but That's barring right. that, you're going to be able to make two. Mm. That's very good. Mm. And they are stuck. The fabric, so it's Macau. It is. It is. Uh, fabric, and it's their Michiko yes. uh, range as well. So beautiful. It is. I, I'm really torn here, and I know I never like to sit on the fence, and I'll say if I've got a favourite, but I cannot pick because I look at the butterflies and the blue, and I think how beautiful they are, kind of like kaleidoscope of butterflies. But then the crane on the other side, and that wonderful traditional sort of red uh, and white combination. Mm. Ah, I, mm. I love them both. I'm not going to pick. Yeah. And uh, it's pick, metallic. It is. Well, I. Oh, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm going to pick up, but I'll be very tentative because I was told just be careful because it's standing up. We've, we've got a ruler behind. That's the only way we can get them to stand up. <laughs> but you can see that metallic. Oh, yeah. It's special stuff. Really nice. And it's instantly, it screams 
of Japan, and it's very opulent as well. I've kind of, I'm getting to get vibes of, uh, it's like a nod to a kimono. Yes. You know, that kind of, uh, yes. uh, yeah, kimono. There we now, go. Although I've chosen, um, you will get the fabrics that are in that particular um, pack in the blue colorway or the coral, but you can put the fabrics wherever you like. Right. Because there's five different designs. Mm -hmm. There's four fringes in each design. So if you want a different centerpiece at the center square, you can choose a different center square. Oh, and you only use in there four of the five. Yeah. So you can, you can do whatever you like. Excellent. Uh, 15 is your price there. 640-481, your item number. OK, quick question for everyone at home. Pop quiz, what do we think is in the lead? Red or blue? Are you going red, blue? Well, I can tell you, blue's in the lead at the moment. 20% of the stock of blue has gone. Mm. Ooh, okay. See, coral, coral's my favourite. I, th I, I, I really think each one yeah. is stunning. And just to remind you all, you're going to be able to make two. So for 15 99 you're going to make two of these beautiful little mini table runners. You do need to add your own backing and wadding, but you will be able yes. to do that. Okay, uh, we're going to move on. Now, we're talking about uh, Frenchies. So Frenchies, I say, not Frenchies. Sorry. That's right, yes. uh, the Frenchies. Now, Frenchies is something you've pioneered. Yes. Yes. No one else doing this. No. And it's so wonderfully unique. So tell us the concept of the Frenchie. Well, it was. It's, it's based on a four-inch square, and yeah. from the days of paper crafting, when uh, some company brought out one-inch square rubber stamps and yeah. called them inches. Yeah. Then they were very popular, so they brought out two-inch ones called Twinchies. Yeah, I remember. And I think I woke up one morning, I, it just came to me, four inches, four inches, French. Frenchies. Take out the O and the U and you've got Frenchies, you see. I love it. So this is your Frenchy tool. Now what can we do with our Frenchy tool? Well, with your Frenchy tool, um, the main, uh, the original Frenchy tool mm -hmm. is based on uh, four squares. So it's rulers, yes, the one here. Um, you've got an eight inch outer edge ruler, square ruler. Yeah. Um, and then within that, you've got a four inch, so the same size as your Frenchie. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a two inch one in the center. Oh, okay. So they can all work separately or work together. Well, that's a good, I mean, twenty four ninety nine for three rulers. I mm. think that's very, very good. And to be honest, um, lots and lots of people have bought them. And some of um, the ladies in my little group, um, So Trisha So's, yeah. um, and the ladies that watch Trisha Time, um, in the week, they use that, that particular tool set they use for the majority of their work. So they've got it sitting there, and mm -hmm. whatever they're doing, they'll pick up a tool um, and use that, whether it's a diagonal cut or whether um, the little two inch one is great for cutting out your bag corners, because quite oh. often we'll have a rectangle and we'll cut the little squares out. Yeah. And a two inch square, rather than picking up your 24 inch ruler yeah. to mark two inches out of the corner, which is cumbersome, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you've got this small square and it's ideal. You oh, just, yeah. yeah. Very varied. Uh, if you mm. do want to put this, and it's something we will be, we even playing with this this hour or next um, hour, eleven yes. o'clock. Um, well, but I'm, I'm hoping to do a little bit of both. Okay. But I'm, yeah, I may or may not. Fine. Well, we'll if see we, what do, we can do, uh, you'll be seeing it in action maybe this, this hour, eleven o'clock. Twenty-four ninety-nine is your price. Five seven nine two six seven your item number. We have some extender tools, so yes. now these are interesting. Tell us a little bit about these. Right, so um, from the, the basic technique with the original Frenchie, mm -hmm. um, there's a few quilts around which show, which is a, a square within a square, mm. and it makes it so simple to make a very effective quilt. So from there, there's not just squares within patchwork, there's triangles, yeah. and we have half square triangles right. where two triangles make the square, mm -hmm. or we've got quarter square triangles where four triangles make a square. Yeah. And what I wanted to do was bring a tool that you didn't have to look at measurements because there are formula for cutting the right size pieces to make your quarter square and half square triangles yeah. and four patch blocks as well. Uh -huh. And I thought if I've got a ruler that you just line up the edges so you put your ruler down and then you can just cut around it, it perfect. would be perfect. Um, so that is why I've brought um, these to you. It's a set. You can buy them individually, um, but there's a saving on buying the two together. And the square one allows you very easily to cut the exact uh, square mm -hmm. for being able to make your half square triangles. And the oh. outer edge is the exact size for making your quarter square triangles. Perfect. 
and, and it works so well with it. You can see that it really does benefit if you've got the existing tool. Absolutely, yeah, it, it works together. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, if I don't get the chance to demo it today, you will be able to look on Rewind on the 28th of March when I was last on. Oh, you used and it. I did go through it all. Okay. And I have been told by um, a lot of ladies, I understood it completely. It was written so. It's worth 20, having a look. 28th of March. 28th Brilliant. of March, yes. Any other examples behind you using the extender or the Frenchie? Um, to say the, um, the quilts? There isn't as yet. No, okay. I must admit, we're working on that. Okay, that's fine. I have fine. a friend no. who makes a few things for me to yeah. help me out. Uh -huh. And um, there's two of them that are working on and that's what I'm going to have coming. So watch this space. Watch okay. this space. Yes. If you do want to pop this into your basket, twenty-two pounds and ninety-eight pence your price. Two eight two one one nine five your item number. Speaking of the Frenchies, we have got pre-cut Frenchies for you. Always popular. Uh, now, oh, okay. This is interesting. We uh, apparently we're having a few issues, technical issues, in getting these into baskets. I think some viewers are saying they're, they're struggling to get these in baskets. I apologise. We are looking into it, so we're going to try and sort that out. If you are having issues, um, if you, I'm just thinking maybe try a call centre. Maybe they're, oh, they're having problems too. All right, okay. So I apologize. don't try the call centre then. If you, they, they, it's not a workaround at the moment. We're going to look into that. So I can only apologise. I think everything else though is fine. So uh, we will get back to the Frenchies, and I'll let you know when uh, we've sorted that out. I'm sorry. It's just one of those things. Sunday morning. Technical issues, mm. hard to get hold of someone, but we will try and sort that out. Uh, what we're going to do is jump onto the website as we head to our first demonstration. If you do have any questions for the lovely Trisha, please get in touch. Trisha is so lovely in, uh, she's very generous in the techniques that she wants to share and she'll always try and get an answer to you. So if you do want to get in touch, it's studio at thecraftstore.com. Having a look at all the options. Now, I have to say, do get ahead because there's certain items that we haven't seen yet that we're going to be featuring at 11. So if you do want a sneaky peeky and if you want to uh, jump ahead of everyone else, you can do that on our website. So we've got new products that we haven't seen just yet and that we are going to feature at 11 o'clock. What are we going to start with then, Trisha? I thought we would start, gosh, we're on extended stock, so I'd better get quick, haven't I? Mm -hmm. um, on the um, My Little, or the backpack, the Wanda backpack. Well, I don't want to worry you. No. Half the stock's gone of the extended, so yeah, it is right. flying. Can we think it's a different, because it's, it's exactly the same technique, yeah. just smaller sizes. Okay. So. Please don't buy them all. Leave one so I can carry on. <laughs> okay. But it's just, like you say, it's the same principle for a, yes. the larger option, the Wanda uh, bag. So whether it's the Nautical or the Cats, what yes. Trisha's about is exactly the same principle there. Okay. That's right. It's just the different, um, you've got the faux leather in the bigger ones, and we've got all cotton, all 100% cotton in, in the small one. Okay. But otherwise everything is the same apart from sizes. Right. So what I thought I'd start with, we'll do it in, um, as the instructions will tell you, there's little steps, there's little parts to put together. So we'll do, first of all, the zip panel, the one that goes um, right around a curve. Um, mm -hmm. So this is something, zips are, um, for some people, oh, uh, um, a mental block. Um, I can't. I can't do a zip. But I've got another little easy technique. If you don't like using a zipper foot, right. So let's start from the beginning. All um, your pieces are cut. So we have the two outer side pieces, which I've already put wadding on the back of, and you'll get that cut to size as well. Mm -hmm. And then my two lining pieces, and then the zip, which is a couple of inches longer. Uh, than you actually need, but it's always easier to work with a longer zip and then cut it down. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do right. is, as we would normally do, okay. is pop our outer fabric right side down. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull that back a little bit. And what I'd say with the zip, because it was uh, is continuous zip, mm. I would either stitch across um, both ends because um, if your zipper pull comes off. But it is quite easy to put this particular, because it's a larger, um, it's a number five zip. So this is a little bit bigger than the standard number three. Mm. And it is quite easy to pop the zipper, uh, yeah. zipper pull back on. Okay. So we're going to line up one end, uh, right sides together. So right side down with the zipper pull facing upwards. And I will put a pin. And I love my flat head pins. These work well um, when we're using the Frenchie tool. Mm. I try and, the things I use are not used for just one purpose. 
it's a sort of across the board, mm -hmm. so that they don't just sit there and you think, well, I bought that to do such and such. I'm not doing that, so I won't use it. But as I say, the things I use, I use on many occasions. Yeah. So I've just pinned that in place. If you like to pop a pin or a binding clip the whole way down, you can. But what I find with that sometimes is the, the fabric does still move and you still need to realign it as you go. So I tend to just keep it loose, apart from this top part, um, and I'm then going to put my lining piece, we do both at the same time, mm -hmm. which if you want to and feel more comfortable with, you could sew down here first of all and then pop the line and do another row of stitching to set the lining in place as well. But doing both together is quite straightforward. Okay. So right sides together, so we're making a zip sandwich. I'm lining up that top edge with the zip and the other piece of fabric and then I have got, let's pop it down here, you can see I've got my outer, my zip, followed by the uh, lining fabric, and you've mm. got the two fabrics right sides together. Nice. So as I say, think of it as a zip sandwich. Yeah. So I will replace the zip through the lining as well. And then the little step that I've taken to using now, I love to use my standard foot on the, every machine comes with a standard foot. And then we have lots of other feet which we change as we are doing a particular technique that we need something different. Mm -hmm. But if I can carry on using this, I like to. So even for a quarter of an inch seam, if you can move your needle position, which is usually done using the width setting. Right. So on an electronic machine with a panel, um, the width setting is a zigzag one. And it will more often than not say 3.5 which is the center, and mm -hmm. that's where your, your needle will be. But if I can move the needle, I will. So for a quarter of an inch um, width of f um, seam, in my normal sewing, that's what I'll be using, and the magic number is 5.5. So I would just increase that number to 5.5. Yeah. However, just another one to add to it then, mm -hmm. is instead of popping a zipper foot on, what I like to do is I move the needle. I don't know if um, it would come in close enough to see. Yeah, we've got that. But I'm going to, uh, can you see that needle moving yeah. now? And I'm moving it right down to zero. So I've moved it as far as I can to the left. Yeah. You might have a dial, which you can turn that right down so that the needle moves across. But as long as you've got it right to the left-hand side, and if you do yours that way, if you're a right-handed person, you may do it the opposite way if you're left-handed. Mm -hmm. um, entirely up to you there and then when I put my you can actually feel where that zip uh, coil is in the middle and I can feel the edge of the foot running against that so you don't necessarily need to I'll take that pin out you don't necessarily need to line the edges of your foot you're lining the left edge running with the um, the coil the nylon right. coil yeah. so in actual fact, I'm going to just put my stitch length up a little bit to, well, around the middle, not a small, a, a short stitch because we're going mm -hmm. through wadding and a couple of layers. Right. So what I do as I go, uh -huh. I'm just lining up, so I'm just pulling that fabric. I'm actually going to take my zipper pull all the way down, mm -hmm. and I've got my pin there, okay. or you'll do a little stitch to stop yeah. it coming off. Just before we start, Trisha, I have news. You have news? It's good news. It's good news. It's good news. The pick and mix with the Frinchies, oh, uh, it looks like they are now live, so you can check out. So uh, apologies for that. It's just technical issues, but I want to say well done to our producer, Charlotte, who sorted it out on her own, because we couldn't get hold of anyone else, but she sorted it out, so well done, oh, Charlotte. Well done, Charlotte. Uh, let's get onto uh, the website and just show you. So pick and mix, any three, and I think, Charlotte, in your honor, because you fixed the issue, you get to pick three. You just get to pick them. Oh, go straight for the Michiko. Good choices, actually, because <laughs> then if you've gone... Oh, and the blend. Perfect. Actually, that is yeah. a really good choice. The two Michikos in the blender. Uh, but there's so much choice in there, so do have a little look. Uh, all of those beautiful fabrics there. The Frenchies are live, and a lot of you now are checking those out. So, again, I can only apologise that we had a few technical issues. Yes. Yeah. So they will work with our 8-inch width strips as well. Yes. So then your tool, your Frinchy tool, where you can use your Frinchies with the 8-inch widths together 
and it works wonderfully. Well, I know you've you've uh, sold a lot of the Frenchy tools, and the 18-inch fabrics are fantastic. If you just have a look behind and going through all those wonderful uh, designs, so these are 18-inch designs specifically for the Frenchy. So if you have a look at those, and they are, I mean, they're stunning. So we've got uh, there's Japanese uh, fabric mm -hmm. there. You yes. can see. There you go. Uh, there's lots of uh, lovely fabric coming through. You've got, um, ja the, it's the Michiko, right? The Michiko fabric, the blender fabric in there. You've got floral fabrics coming through too. Uh, now, I've got to point out, it's all the same item number. It's under the Michiko sort of Japanese uh, item number. But the, what we're seeing now, the florals, they're not the Michiko fabrics, are they, Tricia? No, they're, no, they're yeah. just floral. Well, they're Summer lovely. garden. Yeah, but they're still under the same item number, and they're coming in packs of five, so uh, groups of five. You've got your blues. There's the blenders coming through as well. Blenders are very useful. That's right. They are. They combine with, they are from the same, well, they're not. They're, they're a range that Macau do anyway, mm -hmm. but they pick them specifically to go with those fabrics. Nice. Uh, so each of those five widths of fabric are exactly the same designs as yeah. are in the Finchie packs. Yeah. So it will all... Work together. Work. Yes, uh, I'm great. just. I will. I'm going to grab the 18 inch in just a second, but we'll just have a look at the uh, Macau as well because we've got. Is no, it's Moda. Is it Moda? Moda. Yes, apologies. Moda it's Moda. Yeah. So we're just going to see uh, the uh, Moda options as well. This one is. Hello sunshine. Hello sunshine. So having a look, so you can just see here. That's uh, your Moda. Hello sunshine. That we're going through and the details are on your screen and um, they're 17.99 your price for a pack of five but they are designed to work perfectly with your Frenchie tool say so I will I don't know are these pinned in if I go in they are all right I'll try and get you one I'm just going to show uh, later on this hour we'll just pull one out and just show you uh, what you're getting but effectively they're eight inch to work with your they Frenchie are, tool. they are yes okay. so that you've got minimal cutting to do because yeah. your ruler is the same size and you've got one slice perfect mm -hmm. okay Let's carry on. Okay. So, I'm, I'm just stitching down here. And as I say, I can feel the left-hand side of the, the standard foot is working against the coil. And then I just pop my finger down on the zip, on the sandwich here. Yeah. And just hold that until I get to the next little bit. Okay. Line that back up and on the top. And then just hold my fingers. It's just, it's easier, quicker than actually having the pins there, which you would take out and then reposition. Nice. So we'll just get down to the end there, just move that. And this is why I have the zipper, uh, the zip longer, because I've got my zipper pulled right out of the way, and I can stitch the whole way down. Ah, uh, clever. And I'll just reverse yeah. a little bit there. As we're saying, it's easier to work with something that's a little bit longer, and then yes. chop it down. Yeah. So then I'm just going to zip that back up just a little way, and then we're going to turn it to the right side. So we're yeah. going to reveal that zip edge. Mm -hmm. And I like to pull the lining fabric and the outer fabric together. And we will just pop a pin down there just to hold that. Now you can, if you want to, pin that all the way down. If you, but I make sure that these raw edges at the right line up so your lining and your outer uh -huh. and that means you've got no you have no fold underneath here or pleat because you've actually pulled it out the whole way uh -huh. and what you should find is that you get a nice even uh, um, amount of zip showing here rather uh -huh. than sometimes with a zipper foot it can wobble a bit so you get a little bit narrow a little bit wider but hopefully this way you'll get a nice straight edge lovely so i'm just going to top stitch here and again, I'm just leaving the needle position where it is. And this time I'm lining the edge of the foot with this edge of mm -hmm. the outer fabric. And as I go, I'm just holding it with my hand there to make sure that I've pulled that fabric out. And I've lined the right hand raw edges up. Uh -huh. And just stitch as far as you can go. Perfect. And then again, just pull that around, line those edges up your finger under there as I say pop the odd pin and even though my zipper pull is there the foot is far enough away that I don't have to pull the um, yeah. zipper pull out of the way which is what we usually need to do you've given us some really good knowledge so far this this morning we want to just start the demonstration Trisha well I like I love to give I, I'm basically spilling out my mind yeah. whatever I'm thinking is coming out of my mouth because 
by explaining why, I think it tends to go into your mind a lot better mm. and you realise why you're doing something or if something goes wrong. Now you see how neat that looks now? Yeah. Just because I'm using my standard foot, really. Oh, that's um, nice. It's the neatest way to it's me that it's ever worked. Very neat, yeah. So now we need to do the second side. Okay. So we will take our other piece of outer fabric mm -hmm. and we're going to lay that on top. Now, if, you're, if you think, oh, is that right? You can always just pinch it there, fold it back, and you can see that's what we want to see. Yeah. We want to see that on the top. So we are right in what we're doing. And again, we will just pop a pin. Mm -hmm. Make sure that edge there is lined up and then we will take our second piece of lining fabric and again right sides together so we're going to make a sandwich line that up right at the top there replace that pin just to hold that before we start nice. and we're going to do exactly the same again okay so i'm just going to line that Perfect. put my finger down and so if you have any questions for Tricia as we're going through our demonstration, the beauty of the craft store is that in fact we are live and you can get in touch with us. So please don't be shy. We're all part of the same community, the craft community. There's no such thing as a silly question. So do give us a call. Well, not a call. Send us a message. And it's studio at thecraftstore.com. That would be lovely. Or any pictures that people have made yeah. um, projects. I know... Um, Throughout this last year, a lot more people have um, started sewing or come back to sewing, and they have become prolific yeah. stitchers. Um, as I was saying, I, I usually do um, a Facebook Live um, uh -huh. three times a week. Sometimes, due to um, so much work to get done, I have to postpone one, but um, the ladies there... I can show them, I usually show a technique or a little project yeah. and the ladies there, they basically, as soon as I've finished, I'm going to just pull that one down there, um, as soon as I'm finished, they're at the sewing machine. God. So tea or dinner has to wait. Well, that's <laughs> all right. Ladies and we should say, and gents too. I know you've got a lot of gents. And yes, we've got too. some gents as well, yes. Yeah. Uh, by the way, it's not just Trisha. I know, Trisha, you love seeing the pictures too. But I we do. love it here as well. I know it's like the team, Chris, our director, uh, we've got the wonderful Charlotte producing. We all love seeing pictures. So if you do want to send them in, studio at thecraftstore.com. Okay, so I've done just the same again there. I just pull the um, outer fabric around and I've got the lining fabric underneath and I'm just lining up those raw edges at uh -huh. the right hand side and we're just top stitching down the edge. You've done a good job picking these fabrics. I mean that work is so effective around the zip, the uh, piece of fabric you've chosen. Yes, yeah. It's. Um, I mean I just see a, um, a fabric range and I know what I love. Well, no, it, for me, it's easier to say I don't like that. There's very little that I don't like. Yeah. But I know immediately what I love. And I actually, you would quite often see me with my head in my hand saying, no, please, no more, no more wonderful fabrics. Oh. Uh, you really um, you are winning at life, Trisha, if you think about it, because what you do is your passion. Yes. And I think that is the key to your success and why you produce such good kits, because you genuinely, you can see you love what you do. I, I absolutely do. I am, I do feel extremely lucky. I'm just trimming off the edge of that uh, zip there at the bottom. And then I'll leave that um, on there at the minute. It's taken me a long time to be able to... I suppose be brave enough to do my own thing. Yeah. Um, but I'm so glad I have, because yeah, I'm I'm living the dream, if you like. Yeah. Um, so now what you can do at this point, uh -huh. um, and I do like to do, is I just like to because I've got my um, my lining fabric uh -huh. and my outer lined up. I'm just going to do the longest stitch, so a basting stitch, okay. and I'm just going to stitch right down the edge. About, so I'm going to move my needle back this yeah. time. I'll move it back to my quarter of an inch setting. Trisha, and while you do that, mm -hmm. would it be a good time to have, because we've got to get a recap. I'm just yes. conscious of the fact um, oh time my is goodness. running out. Where is the time? Is that okay? It is. You just, do a recap. Yeah. I'm just stitching just basic down these edges okay. just to hold it together. Okay. Is that okay? Absolutely yeah. fine. Brilliant. Yes. Um, so we're going to talk about the uh, beautiful Wonder Bags. I think 
it's the perfect balance between functionality and also aesthetically they look fantastic. So really practical bag, but they look good. I just, in my head, and I think I am longing to uh, just go to the seaside, but you can see here, what a great bag for a day trip uh, to the sea or a holiday bag as well. It's got that wonderful nautical feel. Do you know, rocking this bag, walking along, imagine if you go to a harbour, you're seeing all the beautiful yachts and you've got that. I just, I, that's the image I have. Or sitting at a cafe by the seaside. $29.99 is your price. 30% of the stock's gone here and you're getting absolutely everything. So we've got our uh, hardware that you're seeing there. We've got all your um, faux leather pieces. Look at all the fabric that we're getting in there as well. So you've got all your fabric. Let me just put that to one side. Oop. So there, all the fabric going through. So that is your bag, everything that you need. Uh, that's a nautical, and then we've got the cats. Cat's still in the lead. Half the stock of the cats have gone. It's quirky, it's fun. Love the faux leather detail with the sort of bright funkiness of the uh, cats as well. A really practical bag, and uh, sorry, I know I keep saying practical, but it really is, because you can wear it just one strap here, or equally, we've got the option to wear it as a rucksack or just hold by the handle. Um, and it just looks good too. Everything, look at, you can see here, beautiful fabrics that Trisha has chosen, and she's so good at choosing her fabrics. I even like the little, there's a metallic in the heart. If we're just seeing that there, you can see. That nice? Okay, there we go. Uh, $29.99 your price, whether you're going for the nautical or the uh, cats, your item number is 927673. Uh, the My Little Wonder backpack has been flying. It's sold out, it's back on extended delivery, 60% of the stock's gone. This is Trisha's first hour. If it sells out again, Trisha's saying that's all, all the uh, stock she has for this option, so she will not be bringing it back on extended delivery. It is such a lovely bag. So what we're working on at the moment is this area here, so the zip. I mean, how beautiful is that? I really like the fabric that Trisha has chosen here. And then you've got those beautiful cats in the mix too. But look at all that. And Trisha was saying, quite rightly so, you can buy the pattern for $9.99, or you can get the full kit for an extra $9.99. Look at all the fabrics that we are getting. How much you'd be paying, I mean, you could pay three or four pounds just for the hardware. The zip, it is a long zip, so it's a, it's a longer than a standard zip. It is number five, so that, what? two pounds. So when you start adding that up, the value in the full kit is great because all the fabric you're getting there as well. Uh, and also some wadding in the mix too. 717-377, your item number. Can I just tell you very quickly, the Constantina crossbody bags are busy. Um, these sold out. Now we had uh, the navy and the orange on previously. They've sold out in the past and they're proven very popular this morning. Such an incredibly practical bag. So that's your navy. There's your orange, and here's our brand new option, and that is your purple heart. And I'm just going to show you, as a bag, when we talk about wearing it, there's things to... Now, I'm six foot one, and it fits around... Oh, am I knocking my mic? Sorry, guys. So, I'm six foot one, and it still fits around... I think I would wear that as comfortable. Obviously, you want it a little bit uh, lower, maybe, but... Um, I like it. Okay. Look, I'm not saying I would necessarily wear this one, but I think a lot of yours at home, you're seeing this, just the practicality of wearing it here. I just think when you're out and about mm. for security, so it yeah. could be a travel bag's great. Or for under your coat, actually. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, um, and at that sort of length, you really are, your yeah. arms in your coat, and you've got, it's trapped there. Protecting it. Or oh, I, I think really nice dog walking bag too, because mm. you can get... You know, the little bags we have to take when we walk our dogs and mobile phone, little treats in there. It's a practical bag. It's a cute little bag. $19.99 your price. So whether you're going for the navy, the orange, or the purple hearts, and say so you're getting the full kit in there, so the hardware, uh, you've got, just very quickly, Trisha, because mm. I, I know we've only got six minutes left. You're getting the fabric. Now, we've got here, did you say it was the um, violin? So we've got violin Yes, there? we've got, yes, and it is violin as well. So Brilliant. it's a medium weight interfacing, um, which goes into the concertina sides. Uh -huh. And then the partitions in the middle are using the Decaville light, wow. which is a, 
it feels like a slightly leathery um, yeah. fabric, but it's a, it is a stabiliser. Right. It is uh, glue, dry glue on one side, so it fuses to it, and it gives real body. I mean, if you feel those inside partitions, it's got um, oh, yeah. a thick, although it's still thin, yeah. um, it's got body to it. It has, it's got, it, it feels reassuringly stable. Mm. Mm. Uh, 1999 your price there, 341411. Uh, now, we've got some kits coming up at 11 o'clock, so we're going to have some brand new items. Already busy, you've been shopping ahead, fantastic, well done. Uh, this is your So Totally Trisha Star Centerpiece Kit, $13.99. $13.99 for a kit. That's incredible. 058214, your item number there. Uh, then we got our flower basket coming in. Oh, the flower basket is flying. Um, just having a look here. No way is that $13.99, Trisha. Trisha, what are you doing with these prices? I know, but I want people to try things and love it. But Trisha, that's incredible. All right, really busy for that. I mean, think how much you paid just for the pattern. Uh, 889561, your item number there. Uh, we've also got another bag kit that we're going to be featuring at 11. This is the Bella. Elsa, oh, apologies, Isabella. Isabella. There's Il Isabella Noir. Yeah. Uh, 1999, your price there. That is a very sophisticated bag. 231327, your item number there. And then finally, we've got Moda for you. A Moda kit. Let's have a look. Oh, this is your Moda Moody Bloom Mini Charm and Mini Quilt Instruction Pack for $12.99. Moda, what? Uh, 11, oh, come on, are you kidding me? $12.99 for that, Moda. Uh, 11 o'clock is going to be a busy hour.